Let's take a look at the Explode Pitches to Tracks feature within Studio One 3. Now in this song, I've got a very basic track and the drum, the MIDI drums I recorded um, basically set up a loop and used my external device to record me playing uh, the drum pads. And this was all recorded to one single instrument track here and into these parts. If I were to double click on a part, and I'm going to go ahead and hit E on the keyboard to expand out a bit. We can see that our MIDI information is spread out over several notes here, or pitches, within the editor. And for whatever reason, we may want to separate, the, separate these out into uh, discrete tracks here in their range view. And in order to do that, what we could do is just select all of the events that we would like to separate out. We can then right click and then under the instruments parts, we can explode pitches to tracks. And then you can see here, if I go ahead and play back, I'm going to mute these uh, other tracks here. So we've got just our, our bass drum. Our snare. A little shaker and a hat. So you can see how this just gives us greater control over our editing. And if we'd like, we could even come in and select all of these different MIDI parts, right click, and bounce the selection. And then we'll have separate audio tracks for each of these drum sounds. If we'd like to undo our explode pitches to tracks, we can always come up to the edit here and take a look at the history and just select that. And then now we're back to all of our uh, MIDI data being contained within this one instrument track. 